Welcome back to the St. Paul Center for Biblical Theology. I'm Beckett, and today we are meditating on the readings for Saturday of the third week of Lent. And as always, I want to take us back to the writings of the Church Fathers to see what they have to say, especially about today's Gospel, which is the Gospel of the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Right, The Pharisee and the tax collector are both worshiping God. The tax collector is beating his breast, asking for forgiveness, while the Pharisee is not looking up to God, but looking at the tax collector and thinking about how righteous he is and how not a sinner he is. What I'd like to do is I'd like to dive into what St. Augustine says about this. Now, this was written, oh my goodness, what, 1,700 years ago? And how relevant it still is for all of us today. St. Augustine says, How useful and necessary a medicine is for repentance. People who remember that they are only human will readily understand this. It is written, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. The Pharisee, in today's gospel, was not rejoicing so much in his own clean bill of health as in comparing it with the diseases of others. He came to the doctor. It would have been more worthwhile to inform him by confession of the things that were wrong with himself instead of keeping his wounds secret and having the nerve to crow over the scars of others. It is not surprising that the tax collector went away cured since he had not been ashamed of showing where he felt pain. Now, many of us can really understand what Augustine is saying here, right? Because so many of us, you know, we don't want to go to the doctor. Or maybe we're not totally honest with the doctor. The doctor, how much do you weigh? Well, I weigh 10 pounds less than what I actually weigh. Or, you know, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I feel fine. Why are you here? I just, my wife says, you know, why do we go to the doctor? To be as honest as possible. I feel pain here. I'm not sure why I'm suffering there. Please help me. And that's why we go to confession, right? St. Augustine is talking about repentance and confession being like medicine. And in the same way, we have to be totally and completely honest with the doctor about where our pains are. We have to be totally and completely honest with our confessor about where we have sinned in our life, where the sins reside in our soul. And this brings us to the sacrament of reconciliation, especially what the Catechism has to say about that and what our Church teaches about the sacrament of reconciliation. For those who remember the St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism, which stays on my bedside, it was my fourth grade catechism, but it still remains to this day by my bedside um, as one of my main sources for inspiration, for devotion, but also for formation. And One of the things it really highlights about confession is the need for authentic, sincere, contrite is the word, confession. We have to be contrite as we go into the confessional. And we can understand that word contrite also in terms of being honest with our confessor. If we're not contrite, we're just sort of listing a bunch of things, right? What does contrite mean? Well, contrite means that we are truly, truly sorry for the sins that we have done. We are truly sorry for offending God. When we look at the Greek word for sin in the New Testament, hamartia, it comes from uh, kind of, kind of the, a Greek understanding of archery, right? It mean, Hamartia means missing the mark. So it's like, think of it as like archery. You're pulling back your arrow and the mark is God's heart and you want to strike your arrow, the arrow of your love, right into the heart of God. But when we sin, we hamartia, we miss the mark, right? So when we think about where we have missed the mark in our life, where we have missed the mark of loving God, of hitting directly his heart with all of our words, all of our strength, all of our hopes, all of our actions, when we miss the mark of God's heart, We have to bring that to confession, but we also have to be contrite about it. I'm sorry, Lord, 
Because God wants us. He wants us to hit right in the bullseye of his heart everything we do. And if we miss that mark, man, that just it's, it's, like, it's like disappointing our parents. It's like, well, I wish you could have just got, it right, got me right there, you know? You know, mortal sin is just, you know, <laughs> way, way off the mark. Venial sin is mostly off the mark. And we have to bring that to God because we want to be contrary. We say, God, I'm so sorry. We have to have empathy and compassion, as much, as much empathy as we can for what God is feeling. You know, what God must feel, you know, when we sin against him. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm contrite for offending you, right? And that's what the Pharisee lacked in what he was doing today. He wasn't contrite. The tax collector, he was contrite. Lord, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. You know, that's what we have to do. Lord, I've offended you. The things I've done, the things I failed to do. When we bring that to confession. But there's also the issue of, you know, what if I'm, what if I don't feel contrite? Well, that's another matter altogether. You know, we have a, a, a desire for contrition, and then there's just no contrition whatsoever. You know, the Pharisee is showing no contrition whatsoever, not even a desire for contrition, but even showing a desire for contrition is one of the best things we can do. You know, so, sometimes I go to confession, and I don't, Sometimes I don't feel contrite, but I go in there with the prayer, Lord, I want to be contrite. I may not feel contrite, but I know, I know that I've sinned against you. I know that I've hurt your heart. I know that I've offended you. I know that I've missed the mark. Lord, let that be enough to forgive my sins, my presence here, and at least knowing that I've done wrong. You know, that is, that is authentic contrition, too. It's not necessarily about feeling. It's also about knowing. So contrition is really what the Pharisee lacked and what the tax collector had. And then sometimes it's really what we have when we go in there. We feel sorry. But even if we don't feel sorry, we have to go into the confessional with a prayer on our lips coming from our heart saying, Lord, I don't feel it, but I know it. I know I've done wrong. I know I'm no better than that tax collector. I know I'm a sinner. I know I've missed the mark. And going in that way hits the heart of God. That is the virtue that God desires from us. So thank you for listening to this reflection from St. Augustine on the readings for today's Mass. May the Lord bless you and keep you always and in all ways.